what's up gentlemen so when it comes to accessories in my opinion they are what makes the outfit right anybody can wear a basic t-shirt some badass jeans a jacket it's the accessories that are going to set you apart from everybody else and elevate your aesthetic but all accessories were definitely not created equal some accessories make you look a little feminine like earrings earrings are definitely a more feminine accessory but the 10 accessories i'm going to go over today in my opinion are the most masculine accessories a guy can wear so for this video i'm showing you my personal items that i love that i personally feel are super masculine all right the first one is actually a double ring belt the double ringed belt, in my opinion, is a super manly and masculine option in terms of belt. Now, don't get me wrong, I love ants and belts, but I also love the subtle, simple masculinity of the double ring belt. The double ring belt is just a clean, masculine, simple belt that I personally feel looks amazing. Now, in terms of where to find double ring belts, guys, the internet is gonna be your best option, all right? I lucked upon this one at J. Crew. It was on the discount rack. This belt came from Suit Supply. The black one that I'm actually wearing was custom made by some like old dude who owns like a leather shop that I got online. The second super masculine accessory that a guy can wear is a baseball hat. Now, here's the deal. I know I look super stupid in a baseball hat, but it doesn't mean that I don't think they look incredible on most other dudes. Now, what I would not recommend is turning them around backwards. I think that makes you look a little bit more youthful and definitely a little bit immature. A baseball hat, in my opinion, is a super masculine accessory that a guy can wear. Now, you gotta wear it right. You shouldn't wear it all the time. You definitely don't wanna wear it in when you're going into a nice place to eat. But in terms of an accessory, guys, a baseball hat, you can't go wrong. The third most masculine accessory a guy can wear is definitely a badass watch. In terms of a masculine watch, the solid steel sports watch, in my opinion, is the most masculine. Which brings us to another point, and that is watch face size. 40 inches is the perfect size for most guys. Something small like the Datejust, right? This is a 36 millimeter. This is going to look a little bit more feminine on most men. Now, if you've got a super small wrist, I would go with a minimum of a 38 inch millimeter case. Another cool way to wear your watch guys is to remove the steel strap and add a black NATO strap. It's a great way to just dress that watch down a little bit and add a fun flavorful flair of super masculine pop. The other reason why I feel like the steel sports watch is the perfect watch guys is because you can dress it down with a simple t-shirt and jeans. You can also dress that sports watch up with a perfect suit and it looks amazing. Gentlemen, the fact is the solid steel sports watch in my opinion is a must have in terms of masculine accessories. Something else and number four is this simple clean black tie guys in my opinion the black tie solid black tie is one of the most masculine ties a guy can rock right it looks amazing when paired with light gray but it also looks devastatingly sexy when elevated with charcoal guys the black tie is perfection speaking of masculine perfection number five is a badass pair of sexy sunglasses but all sunglasses were definitely not created equal all right some are created masculine and sexy others are a little bit more feminine in my opinion these matte black solid black lens enemy ones are sheer perfection in terms of masculinity they also look great on pretty much everybody now if you want to change it up a little bit if you don't want to go the solid black lens you could also go with something with a little gradient right check that out it looks a little more like old school like movie star chic here's another one of my all-time favorite pairs right the tortoise with the gradient lens guys if you have not checked out enemy hit the link down below these glasses are ridiculous super premium quality acetate it is Mazzacholi, which is Italian. The lenses are Zeiss. Spring hinges, so they fit on your head nice and securely. They don't come off when you're rocking and chasing those spicy ass senoritas, or I should say running from them, because that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be looking so damn sexy in these shades. Guys, real talk. If you have not checked out Enemy, hit the link down below. Guys are absolutely freaking out. They can't believe that we're selling this level and this style of sunglass for the price that we are. Under $100. But there's also a very limited time discount code down below. So if you guys are interested, guys, hit the link and go check out Enemy. Check it out. Here is the Enemy 2, right? A super clean, classic design. We've modeled them after the always stylish Clubmaster, but in my opinion, these are definitely not for the style fan of heart. These are a more elevated look, definitely not for everybody. The Enemy 1s are for everybody. The Enemy 2s are for people that want a little bit more edge, a little bit more attitude with their sunglasses. The Enemy 3s are a version of the Aviator. And 
Enemy 4s are a larger style sunglass, right? But we still have all the incredible enemy details. They come in three different styles. We've got the classics right here. We also have the matte black with the gradient lens and the tortoise with the brown gradient lens, which are sick. Okay, right, guys, if you are in the market for a new pair of sunglasses that isn't going to break the bank, but you still expect super high quality, I want you to hit that link down below and go check out Enemy. Like I said, there is a limited time discount code that you can use on any of the sunglasses. We can also use that discount code on number six, which is a super sexy, masculine, slim wallet. If you're currently rocking a big fat wallet, gentlemen, it is time to elevate your style and your masculinity, all right? The Slim Minimal Wallet, in my opinion, is a must-have for every stylish man. Not only is the Slim Wallet gonna be a lot better aesthetically in your clothes, because instead of carrying like a big fat wallet like in your pocket or in your jacket, right, that jacks up your lines and your sexiness, the Slim Minimal Wallet that isn't like overly stuffed or packed fits perfectly in your front pocket, also inside your jacket pockets. The seventh masculine accessory that every guy needs in my opinion is a nice masculine pen guys this one is Mont Blanc and um I love it, right? And whenever I pull it out to write, I feel a little bit cooler, honestly. And it's just a nice way to be a little bit classier and just carry something that has a little bit of a story, right? Because most people have a story when it comes to their pen, whether or not it was given to you as a gift or you bought it for a special occasion or to mark some event in your life. Now, the thing that really got me excited about pens was Kevin O'Leary. When I sat down and met with him, um, we did this whole makeover, right? For you guys who missed it, I'm gonna link to that video down below. Anyway, gave Mr. Wonderful makeover. At the end of the makeover, he was like, hey, let me show you my pen collection. I'm like, your pen collection? All right. So we sat there and he totally like geeked out over his pens, over a glass of wine. And that's really when I found a new appreciation and love for pens. Guys, if you don't have a pen, grab one. I'm telling you, it's next level in terms of writing with this as opposed to something like this. Like you could, you could, this works. It's okay. But this Manly. Speaking of manly, number eight. <laughs> what? Po Whoa, what is that? A pocket knife? All right, so here's the deal. If you live in an area or a country where you're not allowed to legally carry a pocket knife, don't carry a pocket knife, of course, right? I always get that comment when I talk about pocket knives. Personally, I feel like every guy who is able to should have a pocket knife. Not only is it great in terms of you feel a little bit safer, um, for me, it's, it's in part like self-defense, but also it's just really useful to have. The other reason why I carry a pocket knife, though, honestly, is personal protection and peace of mind that comes with knowing, okay, I assume that nobody's going to attack me or want to do me harm, but if somebody does, I've got a little bit better chance of protecting myself using this as opposed to using this, which brings us to number nine. Ring. Gentlemen, a badass masculine ring, in my opinion, is one of the most masculine ass accessories a dude can rock. Technical name for this ring is like a signet ring, right? You don't need to have your initial. You can get like a different design. But in my opinion, guys, a masculine manly ring is an incredible accessory. These two were custom custom made for me by my jeweler, this dude Andres. I also sell these at Enemy. They're custom though. This is my first custom ring and I absolutely love it. It was made from my grandfather's silver quarters, but then I had this ring made from a gold coin that my grandmother left me. Uh, my grandmother recently passed away, so this one is super special. It also matches my watch, so I thought it was cool. Since we're talking about rings, guys, let's talk about how many you should be rocking on each hand. In my humble opinion, I think one ring per hand. Some dudes I see wear like multiple rings, like one on their thumb, on their index finger. I think it's a little bit too much, honestly. For me personally, one ring per hand is perfect. The next accessory that I personally feel super masculine that every guy needs is a leather bag. The leather bag is just an incredibly cool, masculine way to carry your stuff. You know, I don't use this bag every day, right? I have a, a canvas bag that I have a lot of crap in, but when I'm going to a meeting or I'm dressing up or I just want to impress somebody, I carry this. Not only does it look great, it also just makes you feel a little bit more comfortable. You feel more mature and you definitely feel more manly. And that's it, gentlemen. Ten of the most masculine accessories that a guy can rock, in my opinion. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you drop me one of these to be like, yo, Alpha, thanks for showing me some of your personal stuff. Also, if I miss something, what did I miss? Down below, let me know what is a men's masculine accessory that you personally feel every man should own.